Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kina and today's reading is one that I channeled and I thought it was really funny. So it's Easter, so happy Easter and usually this time period people eat hot cross buns. Therefore, this reading is gonna be who has the hots for you and wants to cross that line? We got three buns for you to choose from. Paw number one being this bun. Paw number two being this bun. And paw number three being the last one. So what you can do right now is close your eyes, connect in with your intuition, and I'll give you five seconds to really feel in which hot cross bun you're drawn to. Then you can head down to the description box below and jump straight ahead to your reading. Alright beautifuls, I'll see you there. Bye bye. Hello, bye number one. Okay, so welcome to your reading. Who has the hots for you and wants to cross certain boundaries? Let's see. So pile number one, spirit guides. Who has the hots for pile number one? I just saw like a chicken in my head. I don't know if you guys are eating it or they... It's a representation of something. We got the king of swords. The devil. Oh my god. Okay. Let's pull you some more before we start. We got the six of coins. And bottom of the deck. We got the chariot. Okay, so whoever has the hots for you, to me, they feel like a very proper and sensible being. They might work in an office job. They might also, at least in presentation notes, you find them quite presentable, okay? They're not just gonna roll out of bed in some stinky ass, two-day-old, three-day-old clothes and greet everyone. No, they are up. Morning risers, I also feel. Morning risers get their hair done, gel them nicely, got minimalistic dress sense, and I heard like a charming smile, or at least I see a charming smile. Their demeanor is very poised. I feel that they are a very caring soul at heart. And they're the types to love to make an impression, okay? They are not necessarily loud. Sorry about that. Um, if they have their eyes set on you, they are ready to make a move. It feels very direct, yet non-abrasive, but actually very calming, gentle, and loving. I feel that their demeanor, they have really nice glowing skin. That's one thing. And you guys are quite intuitive. The devil card in the middle suggests to me that there are some allure to each other's energy. You feel a pull, you feel a draw to them. And that even though on surface level, it might be giddy, it might be fun, it might be lighthearted conversations, lighthearted vibe, that there is some down below their tension, if you know what I mean. But you can't help to find each other extremely mysterious, okay? Maybe there are some exchange of words suggesting that there are overlapping interest. Maybe there are at least just a suspicion that in a past life you guys could have been very comfortable with each other. Or let's just take it to the present moment and just say that, hmm, there's relatability there. There is something about this person and what they find about you where I can, you know, sit and chill and talk for ages with this person because they make me feel like I can visit my own home. That me opening up and being vulnerable, they're not going to judge me. We're not going to judge each other. I, I, I see two aliens in my head, so both of you might feel like, you know, quite introverted, keeping the circle small, um, very selective with your time, energy, and people. So the fact that you guys, or at least they see you opening up or the ability to just knock it straight out of the door and 
skip small talk is something that they super super appreciate if if they have done that if not then this is something that they believe would go down with you pile number one okay so let's pull you some more cards and see what other energies i get who has the hots for them so let's just see like their intentions right now right their intentions, this person's intentions towards my pile number one. We got the 10 of cups. Oh my God, what a brilliant card. A lot of positivity. Doubling down on the devil again? <sighs> Guys, ooh, they might be a Scorpio. I'm not gonna lie, okay? We got the double, devil here. Or you might be a Scorpio or like an energy, a mixture between fire and water could be very present in their chart or even yours at least you can feel that both extremely intuitive and passionate people go-getters ambitious they might see you as someone who's extremely ambitious too they might see you as someone proper and prim okay they see you as someone who doesn't take family who takes family seriously and has a vision for what you want when it comes to a romantic structure how you want to evolve it okay is there like tradition to you um maybe even like religious are you religious something like that right where you're not gonna just do no casual flings you're not the type to um spread your energy thin you keep a close guard to your chest and they can really feel that and it's something that they resonate with in themselves let's get one more card spirit please one more card what are their intentions to my pile number one? Okay, how are they trying to cross the line? Obviously, they want to see if you're open to dating. Okay, if this is like a fresh new thing. Because they do see that you guys would make a great, 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 great long-term partner. Okay, I feel like you guys are also one, if this resonates, is for you. Just a group of you. Where you are ultimately tapped into your femininity you're ultimately tapped into your nurturing side man or woman doesn't matter you're open to sharing bonds giving and receiving you know it's not transactional but it's very relational on a soul level and it's refreshing because it feels authentic to them they want authenticity at the end of the day and i see that you guys are very much even though if you haven't shared too much of your own life that every ounce that you're sharing um little nuggets like this they're all still in alignment to who you truly are that's how they feel okay okay we'll, we'll, we'll t you know what take all of this we got the king of swords in reverse Ooh. okay ace of pentacles in reverse and we got the four of swords Yo, they might be daydreaming about you, not gonna lie. They might be going to bed, sleeping, like, I don't know, fantasizing, like, your interactions with them, certain lower interactions with them. Um, currently, it feels quite passionate and lustful. Mm, it doesn't feel extremely sweet, or at least there is, like, these two energies coming at each other. You know, we're talking about the Mars, we're talking about, we're talking about the Scorpionic energy, Plutonian, um, unexpected, unexpected ways of encounterment and unique fantasy type scenarios. <laughs> uh, whatever you're feeling pile number one, I want to say that your intuition is quite spot on. Um, if you think they're interested, they're definitely interested. I mean, like, this is a reading, right? <laughs> yeah. I think, though, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse, they don't want to progress it because they feel that maybe, one, you seem like you are already in a partnership, or number two, you're... You're giving the energy of, I still don't really know. I feel like you need to give them a little bit more or they feel like they, you need to show them at least a little bit more of an obvious green light that they can progress it, then they will. It's not that they are passive. It's not that they want you to necessarily pursue them or initiate, etc. But rather, they just need to feel like, okay, I'm sure that if I ask this person, they are open. They want to see your energy be open. They don't want to see it being closed. 
intuitively they know that y'all are attracted to each other but still you know they want to double down on that Let's look at the bottom of the deck right now, their intentions towards you. We got the Knight of Wands. Oh my god. They ah, they literally feel like they can't wait to talk to you. Maybe you guys have great conversations or maybe you guys have great banter, great flirtatious exchange back and forth. A lot of smiling, a lot of laughter laughter i'm spirit is showing me like this puppy energy in my mind so golden retriever vibes that's coming through too you guys make each other feel young again no matter what age you are you could be still in school for real young <laughs> or you could be you know like in your 30s 40s 50s doesn't matter your souls feel extremely light-hearted in each other's presence and it just ooh. A lot of warmth okay a lot of warmth a lot of care even though we have the devil popping up twice that's like an on an occasional level this person also feels like you have like both mixture of cute hot sexy all in one okay and the knight of wands also suggests to me that you guys have a beautiful smile they want to say that you have a beautiful smile again Maybe they have gone through certain heartbreaks in the past or they take like loyalty extremely seriously. So again, they do not want to rush into this. They want to see whether or not a friendship can be built first. And if the friendship is Gucci, when you can be friends, you can be lovers. You can be lovers and friends and you get the whole cake. They want the freaking whole cake, okay? I get the feeling that maybe in the past they they try to be a little bit more experimental short term and all of that maybe falling into societal conditionings etc but it just didn't make sense to them and if for for those of you who are asking if they are deeply spiritual i feel that they really are okay they have a belief in the divine they have a belief in a higher intelligence um yeah okay so let's pull you some more cards to reveal what else you can get from them see what's going on in their life right now right when it comes to romantic situation maybe why they're not oh my god guys what the anchor king where they want to anchor in a serious long-term relationship whether or not it is with you or with someone else that is extremely harmonious with their vibes this is where the headspace is at so they are not playing even if they have these like light-hearted banterous energy back and forth exchange you know he he ha has no 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 they they at the core level of their soul at their heart it's serious okay i'm, I'm also getting the feeling that they would be the types to if you guys do go on a date or have gone on a date ask you the necessary questions okay no bs no time wasted etc all what i'm seeing what spirit is showing me like eyes just like eyes you know maybe they are eyeing you up and down as you walk away that's another thing not to sound creepy it's not creepy it's just like you know they're checking you out they think you're fine um, or you're checking them out or you're hoping that you spirit would suddenly <laughs> put you guys in the same space together spontaneously i feel like they like the spontaneity of this what's going on right now here too or at least you like like the type of the unknown you're just so their type on a soul level i'm feeling that i'm feeling that real really strong okay you're like are you sure they're attracted to my physique am i their type you are their type okay i don't think they're the types to really care too much about like physical appearance race or demographic we got the whip oh my god spirit you're gonna have to clarify that to me because i have no idea what's coming through with this I just heard like soul bond. On an alternate perspective, let's just say you are already in a relationship or you're already in a partnership or at least they assume that you have someone there or of course they are assuming that you have a lot of suitors around you because your energy just feels extremely vibrant and magnetic. Pile number one, just, just saying, just dropping that down there. Um, 
but they feel that even if none of this progressed on a romantic sense, that there is a lot of depth that you guys can explore on a mental and psychological level. That you guys can exchange, receive um, each other's wisdom. And somehow with this encounterment, that they're gonna leave if you guys ever were to separate with so much more clarity in their own life. Like they just feel like you are meant to be in their life for a reason, for short term, long term, doesn't matter. But you're gonna awaken them to something that they have been seeking for a while. Or maybe you guys are like a catalyst towards them finding true purpose. Cause I get the feeling that pile number one, you guys are ambitious. You guys are pursuing what you desire with the Knight of Wands over here. It doesn't matter if you think you guys are an expert or a master or something. Um, you guys go for your dream life. Like, what's the point? Because we're gonna die one day, right? You're like, okay, I'm gonna live it, live it fully, live it full out. I don't care, I have faith, the divine is behind me. And they're very inspired by that. And maybe right now they currently are working some sort of job that isn't really aligned with their 100 soul heart passion vibes. And they're like, oh, this person came to my life to remind me to get on track, to align me to the idea that death is the biggest awakener, to align me that I am also attractive. Something about them feels like when they feel your energy and you show them that you are interested in what they have to say or... I don't know, just their demeanor alone, just their spirit alone. It gives them a self-confidence boost. It gives them a self-confidence boost because maybe they don't necessarily think highly of themselves when it comes to the romantic sector. They probably have a lot of confidence with like their craft, their career, their work, their word, their persona. However, when it comes to their physique, their appearance, this could be something, you know, less. And so you showing interest makes them go like, okay, okay, I got something. I got something. So let's roll you some Astrodice to see what possible signs they could be. Give you a little bit more hints on who I'm talking about. Yeah, I feel like this person you have exchanged notes maybe once, twice, thrice. Um, acquaintance boundary hasn't really crossed too much of that bond yet but at least there's some investment there oh my god guys what the heck i said scorpio bro yeah yeah so they could be a scorpio you could be a scorpio y'all could have like scorpionic energies y'all could be like really down there level drawn to each other you know what i mean but like deeper way more loyal I don't see them wanting to just do that and like run off. They want to do that because they're so extremely enamored by you. And also make it long term, which is why they probably aren't making moves. Because loyalty, 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 right? We got the sixth house. And we got North Node. Yeah, so with the North Node, it's showing me that they do see this progressing. That could be interpreted in that way. They see you in their future, okay? They are hoping that they can curate some time or part of their schedule. I feel like the sixth house over here, it's giving me busy energy. They have to manage a lot of things, okay? So in order to double down on pursuing an interest, a connection, they're gonna have to rearrange their schedule a little bit or make space, properly schedule it up, take it seriously. I keep feeling that serious vibe. So yeah, I heard, I just heard from spirit like, okay, if this progress, they're really gonna treat you right. And your intuition ain't lying. The fact that you guys are able to open up or feel the energies of safety when it comes to opening up, skipping a small talk, even though we got that golden retriever banterous yee ha vibes, doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter. And I feel that this is extremely mirrored. Yeah, there's a lot of intrigue. There's a lot of intrigue. So they do want to make more time and space to be with you. Let's blow you another set to see what other signs they can be. Another message can come through. We got Aquarius. Okay, quite unique, different Mercury. And the fifth house. Wow, okay, I feel that this person can also be very like romantic, um, gift giving type of vibe, okay? I heard, I'm seeing the sign Capricorn in my mind too. So maybe they're aspiring to climb the ladder, build an empire for themselves, um, self-employed or moving towards self-employment so that they can do that. A real providership role, real nurturing role, okay, both their yin and yang feels extremely balanced. They have, uh, another side note is that they have a good connection with their mom or their father, okay. They have either healed the wounds or maybe had the privilege to have a very harmonious um, upbringing, which then that those values have been translated here. But they do love a little bit of gambling, okay? I don't see necessarily, you know, casino type gambling. But when I say gambling, I mean like, okay, let's bet on this. It's like fun and games, you know? When we, when you're playing playing cards and you bet on some things with a bit of cash, they don't really care to win. They're not really like a sore loser, I'm seeing, okay? Like if they lose, okay, good game. It was still fun. They're very like present in that way. Mercury, Aquarius. There's some unconventionality with this person. They're not gonna click with every single one. They might even have a smaller group of friends where they can truly discuss the depths of what they desire or love or like. Um, but one thing's for sure is that they do know and have a vision in mind. They do know and have a vision in mind. They're not just gonna roam the earth, roam the planet, doing what other people tell them to do, okay? And same with you, same with you upon number one, which is why there's magnetism here, which is why y'all are attracting each other, which is why this is all very fun for you guys. All right, with that being said, pile number one, I hope you enjoyed your reading today. I'm sending you so much love, love, love. Have a beautiful, blessed day, year in life. Comment down below where you're tuning in from, of course. Subscribe if you like my vibe, and I will see you very, very soon. Happy Easter. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number twos. Welcome to your reading. All right, let's get into it. Who has the hots for you? Let me pull you some cards. But when I tapped into this energy, I feel like it's someone, like a close friend like a high school crush that's what i'm getting okay maybe it's someone that you haven't seen for in a very long time and then there was this separation and somehow you guys meet again and y'all are in different stages of life y'all have a different look y'all have a different perspective on the world there's some allure there there's some attraction there okay so whoever this person is they have a hot for you i just heard like glow up so you could have blown up they could have blown up let's get into it who has the hot for my pile number two we got five of cups pink tourmaline beautiful we got the sun oh god mm -mm. what a brilliant positive card we got one more please who has this hot for pile number two? Who has the hot for my pile number two? I just heard like y'all complete each other in some sort of way. And they they feel like you hear them and you see them. Okay. Like you are someone I just heard like a shoulder to cry on. I mean, as long as it's reciprocated back to you, pawn number two, I don't see what's wrong with that. Four of coins, and the bottom of the deck, we got the eight of cups. Eight of cups, okay. The person who has the hots for you 
is a specialist of some sort of skill. Okay, I'm saying some sort of creative talent that they got. Now, are they actively pursuing this and putting that out there? Not necessarily. I feel that they could have some sort of conditioning or tougher situation when it comes to moving the needle into their desired destiny. Another thing is that you guys could also uh, come from like a very similar racial background. If that's not the case, then you guys come from the same hometown, same city, same country. I get this feeling where you both have traveled a lot. Okay, whether it's it's because of education, you know, moving to a different uni in a different country, or just in general work alone, or maybe both of you are somewhat free spirited at heart, and loves to you know jump around, um, not sustain yourself in one particular place. There's those nostalgia there, but I feel that there's some relatability there with this person, okay? Or at least they see you in that way, they see you like, oh, we both are like this. And it's very interesting because we opened this reading up with the sun and moon here and we got the sun and moon here too, doubling down on that energy. You are my yin to my yang, and they could feel that way. Or I just heard the word soul awakening. So you guys could have awakened them towards like what love feels like or what like the activation of the heart chakra center feels like, you know? Okay, when people haven't really felt the vibrations and electric force of love, and when I say love, I, it's not really a feeling, okay? It's more of a frequency. It's more of an activated frequency. So when this person encountered your spirit, your soul, they could have had some sort of sensation similar to a heartache, but it's an activation of that center. A sharp little pain and boom. They start to imagine a world where partnership exists in their life. They could have had quite like a sad backstory sorry i'm just like clearing my nose over here <laughs> um or something in the past okay when it comes to growing up parenthood that gave them a tinge of pessimism seeing the world glass half empty seeing the world glass half empty yeah exactly and that almost like no hope in their spirit when it comes to you, they are enamored and admire your warmth because you see the world as glass half full. Glass half full. And so again, they feel like as cold as the moon, at least they have you, the warm sun. At least they have you to lean on in that way. This person definitely doesn't see you as a come and go type. Okay, they do not put you in the category of a short-term vibe, a short-term relationship, but rather one that needs cherishing, one that deserves growth, one that deserves to be protected with the full. They see that you guys have this like innocent lens to life, no matter how old you get, you see the miracles, you see the love, you see you see things, I'm getting Tinkerbell as a reference. I don't even know why, because Tinkerbell kind of has an attitude, you know? But you could be quite fiery in that way too, okay? You could have a little bit of sass. You know, these tiny little birds, as cute, as small, as fluffy as they can be, they can chirp away, they can really hit you with that high note, okay? Kind of like a chihuahua, you know those big dogs? They are the most friendly giants in the world. And then we got the little ones where you think that they are harmless, but if they're gonna bark at you, they're gonna bark at you. For some reason, they see you in that way and it's like an energy, a sacred energy to protect, <laughs> to love, to cherish, to protect. I also see them, maybe if they ever were to discuss your name um, with their group of friends, the four of coins over here, they, they only spread the good word and they are very much protected with their heart. They're protected with this 
dynamic of yours and if anybody were to say a bad word they are quick to defend you they are quick to defend you i just heard the katy perry song you're hot and you're cold you're yes and then you know no, you're in and you're out this vibe could have oh and have reference to i think one day the netflix show but not necessarily the way it ended more of like you know there's this back and forth energy um they date someone else you date someone else uh you come back together there is still that love and bond there but but are we really going to go zero to a hundred and pursue it and just like link up or are we just gonna pretend that we are still friends are we still gonna are we still gonna still have this deep well of love for each other but have this mini wall and mini segregation and just put a label on it and say we're just friends we're just friends that really care for each other i'm really feeling that vibe okay what are the intentions then right like how are, do, do they want to move this forward do they want to move this forward let's see on number two's person what are their current intentions towards them do they even want to up level this we got the knight of wands yeah i don't know you bring back that childlike spirit to them as i said that i got goosebumps all over my body confirmation over here yeah you're literally the person that turned on their electric <laughs> electromagnetic field and made them realize what life is about you know it's about relationships you woke them up to the fact that they could be the type of person who would love a long-term commitment okay maybe before you they literally thought they could be a bachelor or a bachelorette they literally thought that they could be a Hugh Hefner they literally believed and so it could be their reality pawn number two that they can't they don't have it what it takes to fully love and fully have unconditional love with someone here i'm getting like aquarius energy okay i feel that yeah they have love for the earth but it's not on a personal level until they met you we got the seven of wands in reverse we got the Eight of Swords upright, yeah. You make their head like spin. Not necessarily in the most positive way or the negative way, but rather just like, okay, what are we? Like, I just don't know what to do with this. And I feel like... I just heard like they, get, they just have to be real. They just have to be real right now, whether or not if they're going to pursue it and take it to the next step, because already the friendship wall ain't really a friendship wall. That's what I'm sensing. The friendship wall is just to keep their car cards close to their chest and also your cards close to your chest. Vulnerability is a scary thing for both of you, I feel. Okay. Because once that threshold has been crossed, there's no going back, right? So if they ever decide to express to say like let's level this up let's make it romantic and you say no this is the end of it and if they are tired or you're tired with this back and forth year on and year out you know and it's not going anywhere they'll have to walk away grieve and it's the end of this era I just genuinely feel that with the moon card over here, it's time to really listen in to or, or draw your attention towards not the negative light because negative is not bad, but the light where this relationship could go to an end. But there is that deep well of spiritual love that you have for each other wishing for the best outcome either way okay so if they see you with someone else they bless it and if you see them with someone else you bless it got the eight of pentacles in reverse i just heard like i can't really be flexible with my time anymore 
I think you guys just have very different lives. Like they're juggling different. They're still in this experimental phase when it comes to not only a romantic situation, but just like figuring themselves out where they truly want to go. How do they want to invest their life? Like what's their north known? What's their north star? What's their purpose? Some of you guys have already aligned yourself to the idea of what your purpose could be and you're charging ahead. That's why you have this like positivism, faith in the divine that everything's gonna work out because like this is for you, this life is for you. For them again, they, they operate from like the opposite end of the spectrum, okay? So, they could have lack of clarity when it comes to moving in that way. And they know that if they were to come to you, express like their love or whatnot, and you do not meet their expectations, or sorry, they do not meet your expectation when it comes to clarity of direction and life and purpose, it ain't really gonna work out, you know? There is love there, but maybe compatibility in this time and space, mm, it's not really matching, okay? The puzzle ain't puzzling, the puzzle ain't fitting. You can try to squeeze it, but it ain't gonna work. And yeah, I just feel like this is almost like a grieving process of just like, ah, oh, thank you for being in my life, but we gotta move on. Bottom of the deck, we got the hermit in reverse. Yeah, literally like turn yourself inwards. I feel like they're in the stage right now. When I talk about North Star, look at this. This North Star is trap. They're trapping. Trapping their own North Star to find clarity within. And it being in a reverse shows me that they might be just genuinely distracted by a lot of lower level things. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Maybe you see them, you used to see them as someone who is on it, you know, who you almost put each other up on a pedestal in some sort of way, or at least you saw them as sensible. You saw them as someone who knew what they were good at and is doing it. But after time has passed, maybe they have lost themselves. Maybe now they have certain behaviors that you do not really approve of or is not really aligning to a partner that you like. But yet, again, the soul bond is there. Yeah, I think this is just like a grieving process, a grieving stage for both of you to just let go even though they do want to progress this forward. However, it's just not time yet, and you are way ahead. You are way ahead of them. What else can we get from this pile number two's person, please? What else can we get from pile number two's person, please? Thank you. We got the key. The mouse. Lotus. Let's look at these other ones. The child and the tree in reverse. I feel like they've you've unlocked something in them that they didn't want to face. Okay. That they were too scared to even take on. Maybe you guys want them to be more forthcoming, but yet all they can do is stay in this childlike energy. You want them to be more of a man, but they're more of a boy. You want them to be more of a woman, but they're more of a girl. You know, there's a, like mature, it's not really matured yet. You want that matured connection, sensible, loyal, head on their shoulders. And they just don't really have that right now. They don't really have anything to prove to you that they will get there. So it's best to just, you know, close their energy off from you. Could be in no contact at this point. For a while now, even, I'm sensing. With the, with this, I feel like they need a lot of grounding and rooting in. Okay, so almost seeing you as a North Star inspiration, you're like the teacher right now. Instead of it being equal, give and take, romantic situation, it can't be because actually at the end of the day, the position between you guys is more like they're, you're the, the teacher and they're a student, okay? Whatever area, I don't know. Spirit is not giving me like a, a specific thing, but it could be like 
you guys are so on it with your health. So they see you as a teacher for them in the health arena. You are so on it with your wealth. They see you as a teacher for, you know, building their wealth, building their own foundations. So yeah, there's almost like, I can't really offer you anything. So I got to root in first. And yeah, this connection is almost like up in the air at this point because like who knows you know that they're feeling like who knows y'all might come back into contact be great friends or be great lovers or y'all can just grow apart and that's it you guys were temporary in each other's lives and that's it i think that's where they're at i think that's where you're at too i feel like you guys reflect each other on this so let's worry some asteroids see what sign they could be we got Saturn, yeah, time, time restrictions, first house. It's time to prioritize themselves. They could be in this era of like, you know, making sure that they know where they're going. We got Cancer, they could be a sun, moon, rising Cancer, have Cancer placements. Um, you could be a Cancer, okay? They could see you as someone who is nurturing or at least like they're on the journey to learn how to become the man of their own dreams or the woman of their own dreams. And we got the sixth house, wow. Uh, Libra, they could be a Libra, you could be a Libra. We got sun. This connection really showed them that partnership is important in their life. Romantic partnership is very much important in their life. And um, in order to receive, they must give. And again, they can't give whilst having walls built up around their heart area they have a fear of being vulnerable maybe you have a fear of being vulnerable with them because like if they're not opening it up i'm not opening up you know it's kind of like this game of uh who's gonna do what who's gonna do what first and if both are on the spectrum of wanting to be pursued then it's not gonna work and not gonna work um so yeah they either have to change or you have to change and i do see that you guys do not want to change your ways when it comes to dating so and i acknowledge that wow pile number two i think i'm done here on your reading so with that being said i'm sending you so much love 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 have a beautiful blessed day year and life comment down below where you're tuning in from of course subscribe if you like my vibe and i will see you very very soon bye bye happy easter hello one of my threes welcome to your reading who has the hots for you and wants to cross the line Wow, if you chose this pile, you guys are hot stuff. You know why? Because I genuinely feel like it's a crowd of people. Even like people who are younger than you, you might kind of feel mm, a bit uncomfortable by that. I do feel that. Um, but yeah. Okay, so let's get in. Because you know what? Pile number one and pile number two were specific people. But right now, what I'm getting is a crowd. It's a sea of people. Who are you? Who are you, pile number three? <laughs> Okay, so who has this pots for pile number three? I've seen this person with kind of like curlyish hair and even glasses. Another wearing kind of like a suit. All genuinely very different looking people from different cultures and races. Demographic. Eight of coins. Ooh. I don't know. Are you online? Are you on social media? Page of coins. Look at this. Look at this, when I say are you online, are you on social media, they're literally like watching you behind screens. These are like secret admirers of yours. I just heard like you could be very like popular. So yeah, definitely if you put yourself out there. There's a lot of strangers, even acquaintances, that, even people from the past who once saw you in a certain light, they see you very differently now. We got the full again. Oh, wow. Look at all this green. You guys are extremely abundant. Okay. The people who have a heart for you, they see your wealth. Or at least they kind of project the idea that you are very opulent. I mean, receive that, right? That's quite great. <laughs> um, and they need to come correctly if they ever do. I feel like most of them don't. 
With the full card, I also feel that you are extremely divinely protected by spirit, so you could woodwork. You said, uh, sorry. <laughs> you could work with spirit, okay? Maybe not on a one to one level, but you are connected to the divine. And those who are connected to the divine and are awakened on this path usually are extremely magnetic and have eyes on them because people are drawn to source. You could be quite adventurous too. Or, okay, these are just gonna be very scattered messages. Pile number three, we chose this. Who has the hots for you? It's a variety of people. So there are the types who want to bring you out traveling, wants to treat you um, in that way. I just heard like open up to receive gifts. So spirit might be prepping your energy to receiving more. I just heard like more from fans. So um, if you guys ever had a desire to, I guess like be of service to the world on a grander scale of things, don't be surprised to have gifts being flowing in definitely open up like a p.o box or something for that um yeah open up like vacuums and spaces for these opportunities to roll in what else i'm also seeing that i don't know what it is you guys could have switched up from a more city type of lifestyle to nature okay you could be currently very much drawn to nature and grounding elements and these admirers this reading is turning to admirers these admirers see like the deeper part of you now or at least they saw before they felt like maybe you were just giving more of an artificial surface level lens to your life to who you are but as of recently or it's been a moment or two you guys have fallen back into like the authentic seat and so again you guys are extremely magnetic in that way because there's like duality and polarity you guys don't always have to be this um adventure seeking soul um hogging trees and like hippie ass you know free spirit but rather you can also gel in mix in with um crowds that are uh, more mainstream i just saw the netflix show pop up i don't know if you guys are on netflix but Either way, the people who have the hearts for you love to admire you online, okay? On the socials, on the social media. Or at least you're giving them pockets and windows for them to do so. Mm -hmm. You're putting yourself out there in that way. They're observing and wanting to see how you grow. But the full card, maybe, so maybe some of you guys are just starting off in this journey. If not, you've been in the online game for a while. Again, you're revealing a part of yourself that is new and hasn't been heard of. So the people who want to connect with you, who once were like, nah, not that interested because, you know, I'm this vibe. Now that you're tapping into the vibe that they like, they're, they're having their eyes on you. You know what I mean? So once you could be really into rock but now you're into pop also then other people who are into pop are drawn into your energy oh my camera's about to die but let's look at the bottom of the deck we got the ace of cups oh you guys give people like a lot of feels online it's like awakening to a beauty that i've never seen before and now i'm getting like tyla popping up rocking up in my mind she is wow just a force to be reckoned with let's just put it like that right and i feel like this is you this is you but the queen of wands yeah a force to be reckoned with a powerhouse entrepreneurial bold high self-esteem they better rock up the same way okay but let's look at more specific people this is like the general crowd, okay? We're getting a lot of reviews on you and um, a lot of people on the sideline seeing you grow, seeing you evolve. From youth, I'm hearing. Oh my God. Yeah, that's for some of you. So 
let's let's pull in like one or two people right who are more interested in you maybe you guys have exchanged some notes some messages let's let's see let's read into that so oh perfect we got the two oh ones I just heard like conquer the world together so there could be something that you are in contact with the one the person who has the hots for you i feel like it's very like um equal i'm also seeing a certain type of dress sense street style this person this man or woman could be be quite hip athletic um experimental in that way it has a desire to travel the world has a desire to explore to venture out i i'm seeing them num number five in my head so they could be born on the fifth or they could have a lot of five energy which is like momentum movement excitement uh they could be also extremely psychic psychic knowing so they always follow their intuitive nudges they're guided by their passions um extremely ambitious but they could also seem like the type to pop off on the radar like i don't think they're the types to tell everyone their whole plans they're just the doers so if they feel the intuitive pull or intuitive nudge you're like okay i'm doing it and then it's like very enigmatic for you and also for their own life okay it's just a joy to be around they're like a joy to be around okay yeah so what are their intentions towards my pile number two three sorry if you're drawn to number two then hey two two <laughs> then this is a sign we got the justice eight of pentacles in reverse two of cups um and the king of wands okay so bottom of the deck we got the four of wands in reverse definitely right now they're seeking long-term connections they're seeking like you know health in order wealth in order purpose in order relationships in order they are really here to live a wealthy lifestyle not just one of riches or reputation fame anything lackluster like this that society perpetuates to make us feel like we have to fit a certain mold no but they're here for real wealth they're here for real pros prosperity okay prosperity of the mind body and soul very beautiful person i'm picking up what i'm saying is that when they they look at you and they see that if you guys come into union this is going to be a powerhouse connection with the two of two of cups here and the king of wands in reverse the reason why the king of wands in reverse is that this person feels a desire to find the perfect one so that they can advance and become the best self okay this could be a masculine who's seeking a woman as a motivation as the reason why they do what they do okay it gives them purpose it gives them drive it gives them a sense of aliveness or this could be the other other way around okay take what resonates where when they encounter a when when you are the types to want to express their feminine path like their femininity you could look at them and be like okay if they are in their highest self then i can be in my highest self too and there's like synergy there there's like an equalness in power dynamics but i wouldn't call it like a split even 50 50 like equity type of relationship it genuinely feeds each other's souls i feel like this person sees you as someone who is able to feed their souls right okay and if they're juggling two options or if you feel like they're juggling two options maybe they are but what i'm seeing is that there is one above the other and that one above the other could be you Oh, take what resonates. I'm, he I'm here from this card that they're done playing games. I'm so sorry. I need to blow my nose real quick. This person could have had a track history of experimenting a lot when it comes to their love life. If that's not the case, then they have zero, zero experiment, almost like nil, right? Experimentation when it comes to their romantic um sense because all that energy has been put towards their career their profession growing evolving it's all very like self-focused with the justice in reverse i feel like 
it's almost time to bring balance to see where y'all both are at. I feel like it's time is ticking. I'm hearing this clock. I'm hearing this clock. Like it's time, it's time, it's time to gain clarity, okay? If you're watching this during a Mercury retrograde, this could be the energies that's propelling this to happen. You could be feeling like, you know, I want to know what's going on here. I want to know what we genuinely feel about each other. I just wanted cards out on the table so that we don't have to guess anymore. I think they feel the same. I genuinely think they feel the same. All right. So let's pull you some fortune cards to see what other messages we can get from this. So their intentions, this specific person over here. Yeah. They also see these other viewers or watchers as people who are not part of their lane competition. They have real self-confidence in themselves. Let me just say that. They have real self-confidence in themselves. We got the horse in reverse. Yeah, maybe they were the types before to really rush in into a connection when they feel the passion, when they feel the drive. Um, they have the ability to be courageous whenever, however, these were the cards that were dealt in, dealt for them in their favor. Um, they could have like fire sign placements in that way, but then when it comes to now and their approach to their romantic party now, they're like, okay, I know I can run. I know I'm not shy, I know I can be vulnerable, but let me slow down because then I can really gauge. Then I can really see if we are truly a good pair. So yeah, if you're questioning whether or not like this person, are they serious about you? Yeah. But they just have to like double down the seriousness and trust within themselves to not just run by passion. We got the circle, yeah, they are looking. Guys, if you're asking whether or not this person has a long-term vision for commitment, for marriage, for anything like this, yes, of course. And yeah, I just genuinely feel like they are ready to settle down. I don't want to use the word settle down. The other day I, I watched a podcast, I think Matthew Hussey talked about how we should change your vocabulary from settling down to settling on. And yeah, so they're ready to settle on one partner. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's roll you some astrogize to see what possible signs they could be. Could be your signs. Ooh, they could be a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. A lot of Scorpionic energy within this reading today. Um, in pile number one also, if you haven't checked it out. There could be some messages messages there. We got the South Node and the Sixth House. Sixth House be rocking up a lot lately too. Um, so they're the types to have their schedule planned out. They never, ever, ever do something without clarity in mind of their intentions, without some sort of, you know, timetable set for themselves. They are responsible. They're responsible for their own energy. And they have also unlocked a lot of gifts and talents from a past life of theirs. They could be like psychic. You know how I said they have clear knowing? They know. They know what they know. They know what this could be, what you could be, what we could be, I heard. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. This person has definitely done a lot of self-work. Definitely done a lot of self-work. We got Sagittarius. We got the fifth house. And we got Saturn. Okay. They, be they are a believer in divine timing. Okay, they're a believer in having faith in the universe and the God to decide what brings about their life. And also with the fifth house energy, they are fearless in uh, trying new things. They are fearless in going at it, even if it doesn't make logical sense. Their intuitive nudges guide their life. And with that, it's almost like they have like luck on their side with Sagittarius popping off too. Even if there are some trials and tribulations, some ups and downs, some, you know, pauses, delays, doesn't matter. I think on the forefront 
energetically, you can feel that they are a very lucky person. Or at least they attract experiences, even if they're not where they want to go, that support them in the meantime. And they never crumble. Like there is never a moment for them where everything is truly, truly, truly falling apart. Because on a mental level, on a mental note, they see themselves as how God sees human uh, humans, which is... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm like messing up right now, which is enough. Like you are abundant in your birthright. And so they live fearlessly through that energy. What a brilliant soul over here. Whoever you are thinking of right now, this is confirmation. With that being said, pile number three, I'm sending you so much love, love, love. Have a beautiful, blessed day here in life. Comment down below where you're tuning in from, of course. Subscribe if you like my vibe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Happy Easter.